usually found at the forefront of battle, leading defensive attacks with overwhelming firepower. The assault class is crucial to dominate the battlefield. Welcome to the definitive guide for the assault class in Killzone Shadowfall. This guide will help you to become a formidable opponent when using the assault class. All abilities, weapons and explosives will be listed right now. After that, a much more elaborated description and best use of each one of them will be presented to you. First, abilities. The assault class has one primary ability, nano shield, and three secondary abilities, speed dash, stun blast, and body drone. This class has five primary weapons, two submachine guns, the LS-21 and the STA-25, two assault rifles, the M55 and the STA-409, and one semi-automatic shotgun, the LS-36 Breacher. It also has two secondary weapons, the STA-19 and the LS-12. And finally, the two explosives available to this class are the M194 grenade and the limpet grenade. All the abilities and weapons in kills on Shadow 4 are unlocked by default. Certain attachments and upgrades are unlocked by completing special challenges. Those challenges won't be covered in this guide, because they are really straightforward. They basically consist in using the ability or weapon to get kills or to help your teammates. Now, let's elaborate about each one of the abilities. The Nano Shield is the only primary ability for the Soul class. This means you will always have this ability available no matter what other secondary ability you select. The Nano Shield allows you to deploy a temporary energy screen that blocks enemy attacks while letting allied projectiles through. When facing enemy assault players, recall that the nano shield is vulnerable to stun blasts and explosives. The nano shield is great for defending doors and it can give you an advantage when attacking a crowded objective. Recall any of your teammates can also shoot through the nano shield. Now, let's elaborate about all the secondary abilities. The stun blast ability stuns and blinds nearby enemies. The blinding effect is the same as the one generated by the stun drone available in the scout class. Recall that enemy stun and body drones, turrets, nano shields and even petrocyte grenades will be destroyed after you use this ability if they are within the stun range. The stun ability is a great defensive mechanism in case you are being attacked from multiple directions and superb offensive ability in case you are attacking a crowded objective. The speed dash ability increases your speed for a short amount of time. Very useful for taking the initiative during missions when speed is essential and useful in case you have to retreat when health is low. And finally, the last secondary ability is the body drone. This ability allows you to deploy a flying combat drone that automatically attacks nearby enemies. If your plans are to be stealthy while capturing an objective, Recall that the body drone attacks every single enemy nearby, and it could give away your position. Time to talk about the primary and secondary weapons as well as explosives. All weapons will be described briefly for now, and in a near future a definitive guide for each one of them will be given to you. The LS-21 Bulk is a light and versatile submachine gun, works better in the close and medium range. The STA-25 Slug is a powerful, fast-firing submachine gun, ideal to engage enemies in the close and medium range. The M55 Rambler is your all-purpose assault rifle. It provides a perfect blend between fire rate and accuracy. The STA-409 Kisser is a lightweight assault rifle, with lower range than the M55 but higher rate of fire. And finally, the LS-36 Breacher is a semi-automatic shotgun, obviously great in the close to medium range. Now, the two secondary weapons. First, the semi-automatic pistol STA-19, your regular pistol that also works great in the medium range, and the semi-automatic pistol LS-12, 
that supports an attachment to allow three RAM burst. The Soul class has two explosives available. First, the M194 grenade, which is your fragmentation grenade. Recall that arming grenades take some time and you can even cook them. And the second one is the limpid grenade, which is basically a sticky grenade. The Soul class in Killzone and Shadowfall is the responsible for pushing forward when attacking an objective. It's the class to be used if you prefer to be close to the action, capturing and destroying objectives. The Nano Shield and the Stone Blast are abilities that make a difference when doing so. Heavily defended objectives are usually crowded with enemies. If you use your Stone Blast, you can blind and confuse your enemies and you will be able to destroy all turrets, Nano Shields or flying drones that happen to be close to your blast. After that, you could use your Nano Shield to give you some time while you capture the objective. And do not forget about the Speed Dash that gives you an important advantage when using it. Getting the objective faster to either attack it or defend it is always useful. Regarding the weapons, you have three categories to choose from. I personally like using the assault rifles over the submachine guns and the LS-36 shotgun only when the map has really tight corridors. And that's all I have for you this time, comrade. Please don't forget to rate the video and even consider subscribing to the channel. My name is Mario Carion, thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time. Until then, be safe.